here we are. Welcome everybody to another very late last minute in the month total request live stream where I draw some of your requests as submitted through the request form. If you're uh if you've been here before, welcome back. Always happy to see people with their uh, enthusiasm for the requests and everything. And uh, if you're new here, welcome. Very happy to have you here and hopefully that you'll you'll have a good time. We just like to hang out and I love it when people draw along with me and also, oh, we've got something, the Beagle Boys. That's gonna be a fun one. Uh, it's always something, uh, and I've already lost my train of thought. But yeah, we draw, we chat, we talk all things animation, and I stay up way too late. So if you're new here also, I invite you to hey, acquaint Joe. yourself. Hope you are oh. doing well. Gosh, I gotta change that because it just goes away so fast. It either stays for 30 minutes or it stays for three nanoseconds. But um yeah, I realized I got a request last time um, with a with a nice tip that I that I didn't get to. It was Anne from Amphibia, so I'm just starting off the show with this. So if you are on Instagram, I invite you to have a better request experience by joining on YouTube or Facebook or literally anything but Instagram, because I just can't seem to make the simul simulcast work uh, with Instagram. So I'm just doing this the old fashioned way, having you see my hand doing all, all of my handiwork. And I'm going to go ahead and open the request form. And it says that it's not available, but it's tricked me before. I'm not going to freak out because this worked before. Accepting responses, right? I am putting, if you would like to make a request, I am putting the link in the chat right now. And another update uh, for the rules. Just, I make no promises. I absolutely cannot do every request. I cannot do even a fraction of all of the requests. I do the best I can. If you feel passionately about your request, I highly advise you to throw in a tip because that makes me know that you're like, you're really motivated and it motivates me and can't tell you enough how much your support means to me, you guys. Speaking of which, I'll throw in a little thing. If you want to support, but you don't want a tip, there's lots of other ways that you can do it. And uh, including, hey, Instagram, you can go get a t-shirt. I've got a t-shirt shop with lots of fun designs on it. Shirts that I think should exist, but didn't exist, but I made exist. And uh, if you can see me here, I've got my Harley Quinn shirt. I think that's, I just want, I just like the idea of Enjoy Harley Quinn Classic, which is why I'm always talking about that one. But anyway, so the request form is open. I'm gonna finish up, oh, we got some more. Another pose to fix has been spotted on the request box. Oh my gosh, is it another Trix one or another Cocoa Puffs one, Matthew? I shall find out soon. And while I am finishing up Anne here, I will welcome people to the show. And I've missed a ton messages so far so here I go I'm going to say hello plush blue let's boogie Dennis Danta Lanali Mike Chicago Pablo what's up huge mushroom <laughs> um, and Matthew Leblanc hello how are you ça va and Dennis Liston and huge mushroom. I'm gonna laugh every time I see that name. I don't know why. Is that is that a euphemism for something? Let's hope it's innocent. And Kale's Tales. Hello, classic Sonic Maniac. Woohoo! And Kale Kalaya. Kale Forgive me. Kalia. Kalia is what I'm going with. Let me know how much I butchered your name. Wandering Boy. Hello. Waka Waka. 
And Manny's my name. Nice to see you again. Nasty. And let me scroll down and see if we got some more names. Uh, Alundis, hi there, welcome. And Diego, the Roblox boy, hello. And Clay, nice to see you. I think, and there's Dino or Deno. I'm going to say Dino because I was listening to some Dean Martin today. You've either got or you haven't got style. And Tobon Studios, welcome. Good to see you. I think I've got, oh, and Andre. Nice. Uh, Paula says, hello, it's been a pleasure subscribing you. I love your animation reels. Well, thank you. That's very kind. I appreciate that. And Deirdre. And Hapa, Hapa Ax Gamma. That's a cool thing to say. Oh, here's another one. Okay. <sighs> Film Criticus. Film Criticus. Hello. Happy Easter to you as well. And we have got some tips coming on in. Thank you, Clay. And I think that's everybody. There's a lot of... Oh, uh, Shelby. And yeah, I think I got everybody. If I haven't got you, I'll try to... Say hello uh, on the back end. So let me finish this, this shoe. Because everyone knows how much I love drawing shoes. That's why I have this one slightly obscured. <laughs> so... If anyone can guess where the sound clip is from that uh, plays over my tips, I will automatically do a request for you. So it's very, I want to say it's pretty obscure, but I clipped it myself. It's from one of my favorite movies. I don't think I've talked about it much, but um, if you know where it's from, then it means that we are, we are, we are um, old souls together. And I, I just want to do something nice for you since you know the movie that is one of my favorite movies. One of the, one, I'll give you another clue. It's, it's one of the hands down funniest movies ever made. It's hilarious. And it's a little bit dark. Manny, oh. And Matthew says, reminder to check the Insta chat box, especially for the answer to that posed question. Ugh. Instagram. If you're on Instagram, come, come to the dark side. Come to YouTube. And Manny donated $5 through Super Chat. Two requests tonight. Oh, my gosh. And Doramon and Pandora. <laughs> oh, no. You're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> but I'll check that out in just a minute. Let me finish Anne here. She has an ear that I will draw. I'm going to draw that ear. Yeah. And so, and if you're new to the request session, I, I say I'm never going to draw anything on model, but then sometimes I just try to draw model on model anyway, just to see if I can, but then I end up just tripping myself up. So I'm, I'm sort of half, half acidly drawing on model, off model. I'm, I'm giving it, like if this were a paid test, but I didn't really care too much about getting the job. I guess that's the level of effort I'm putting in to get this to be on model. Okay, so, and she's got this crest on her shirt. So it's S-J-M-S. -S. I'm guessing this is not the Hogwarts crest. Just guessing. So she looks like an enthusiastic, excitable character. I've not seen this show, but so it's, apologies if I get her personality wrong. Let's draw a little frog here. If we 
we've got like a whole colony of frogs living in our compost bin outside. So I, I feel a fair amount of affection for frogs right now. So this frog is definitely not on model. getting extra sloppy towards the end here. Okay. And again, so happy for everyone who is joining tonight. I'm going to go ahead and get, I'm going to drop some color. And amphibia, just for my own recollection and I just sample color whenever I sample color I need to lighten it up just a little bit otherwise it looks a little too muddy I don't know why maybe it's the RGB to RGB I don't know Builder brush is my favorite thing to paint with right now. Ah! Oh. We're just going to be kind of loosey goosey right now. Keep this request flow going. Guys, did you know that this is the first? 20 or 25th or I don't know Catstone Dance at some point in the past premiered on this day and that's one of my absolute all time favorite animated movies so if you have a request for a Cats Don't Dance character I feel mighty inclined to draw Cats Don't Dance tonight just saying and if you have not seen Cats Don't Dance just immediately find it right now. Just There's a Blu-ray that was recently released uh, from Warner Brothers. Finally, you can finally see it on widescreen. I confess I have not purchased it yet because I'm trying to keep spending down. But I really, really, really want to get it. It's on my list of uh, DVDs that I need to purchase and treasure and hold forever and love him and hug him and call him George. Because that, you guys, this movie is so good. It has no right to be this good. And it's un unfortunate. Uh, the history of it is very unfortunate. It got lost in this corporate shuffle. Because Warner Brothers has just always been, like, people are hard on Zaslav now, but what about all the executives that got away? <laughs> Like, there's so many dumb executives and dumb corporate moves that have happened at Warner Brothers in its recent history that um, it was, it's just so dumb. Like, they didn't promote the movie at all. They, they There was no tie-ins to Cats Don't Dance. It just came and went. It was a bomb. It was a blip. But it was just such a good movie, you guys adorable and it's i swear it's the best best music randy newman ever composed because you know normally he's like like just kind of slow and plodding that's his thing it works it makes money it's catchy it's fine but he did this brassy 1940s big band swing orchestra sound that was so good it was and it felt just so colorful and alive and authentic. It was really good. Like, everything about that movie was freaking fantastic. 
but because sometimes there's no justice in the universe. It just didn't do well. And unlike the Iron Giant, it didn't really gain any kind of cult following afterwards. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, there's, there's definitely people who love this movie, but not as many as there should be. So if you've um, never seen it, or if you've got kids, or you, you have kids in your family, and they're looking for something to be excited about, there's not that much exciting stuff to watch, um, throw in Cats Don't Dance. Like, it's... It's phenomenally good. Alright, so I'm going to post the form link one more time because I am going to be closing the request form in just a few minutes as soon as I finish up finish up Anne here. Oh, thank you, Kyle boy. I can't wait to dig into all of these requests. I bet we got some good ones. I bet we got some ones that are going to make me really, really annoyed. And guys, yes, I do get annoyed. As part of, part of is my right to get annoyed because it's stressful to draw live and try and please a lot of people, so I reserve the right to get annoyed. However, being annoyed does not mean you've done anything wrong. I can be annoyed without anybody having done anything wrong. So don't mind me when I complain and throw a little hissy fit. That's that's just how I do. That's just how I draw. I need to have a minor panic attack before I produce anything good. So this is super super duper duper rough but you know this is these are sketches these are not meant to be beautiful polished final final things they're just like you should have seen the first few request streams that I did they, they weren't they weren't even colored so if I have time I might massage this a bit later. It's a frog! Frogger. Okay, how important are the leaves in her hair? I'm not sure. Somebody's going to educate me pretty soon. It would be weird if she just always had leaves in her hair. All right, so we are going Oh, yes. If you are new, uh, or even if you are not, if you were at the last stream but didn't see, here are the final uh, pieces from before. Stacy McGill, uh, What's-His-Face from 101 Dalmatians, Rubbish the Cat, another Pepper Ann. And what else did I have? Now that's the page. I had Hugo and Marion Moonglow. Now I'm just gonna leave that up. Well, I say, okay, everybody ready? Turning off the requests. I'm gonna put the rules up here one more time. So everyone says, no promises, no promises, no promises. And we are turning off the request form in five, Four, three, two, one. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Requests are full. Yikes, this is a lot of responses, you guys. Okay. And um, 
Hey, welcome, Fisudo. It looks like it's gonna be a long night. I better... Oh, I gotta get my timer. Pardon me, I thought... Uh, excuse me. Just when I think I have prepared everything. This little guy is going to keep me on track. If I can remember how to turn it on. Eh? No. Eh. Oh my god. Is the yes! I figured it out. Okay. All right. Now we are going to start scrubbing through. Wow. So we've got a lot of double requests from lots of people. And, well, we are going to start with, let me see. I'm going to refresh this right now. And then I'm going to, once I get started, I'm going to scroll back and see what questions people have been asking. Tips. Okay, this is not, oh, yes, this is. All right. I will start with um, the poll. I need to tell you guys about the poll. Okay. If you want to have a second chance at getting something, um, like having your say in what I draw, then you can vote in the poll, which I have just posted the link for. So I'm going to see, um, oh man, thank you. We have a top tipper tonight, Mao Doodles. Thank you so much. Let's see if Mao has a request. Yes, I will do that one first. Response number 45. An evil Darcy from Amphibia. Well, well we're gonna stay on theme, okay. From Amphibia. Oh, okay. Well, this is an evil looking character. Darcy. And let's read about Darcy. An evil and terrifying yet goofy and fantastic villain who loves sweets and conquering other worlds. I am going to see the provided reference if I pulled the exact, yeah, I pulled the exact same one. Okay, cool. What an interesting look. Evil and puntastic. I always enjoy evil and puntastic. Okay, you know, there's no music in the background. Oh, thank you. I should have remembered that. There we go. I think uh, something French tonight. Okay. Bring on the tunes. I'm gonna put uh, five minutes on. Oh, thank you for the donation, Abel. I appreciate that. We've got, um, I gotta make these things stand, stay longer. I'm gonna refresh so I can see the super hat. Um, yeah. Any thoughts on the lush 
X Shrek collab. Asked on Insta, usually I chat. Oh, let's see. Um, I did not see a question on Insta. The things you gotta do to rate, to get raise a hand online. Okay. I got my request. Happy early birthday. Okay. Let's get, oh, I'm gonna start my five minutes over. So, how about we draw on a separate layer? And let's get my animation pencil back. I'm gonna try and make this evil villain look intimidating. These eyes are going to give me trouble. Okay, I need to round out this head a bit more. Chuck Jones always said to draw the ears of Bugs Bunny first because then they won't fit on the page. I'm having a similar issue with these antler thingies. Okay, so this is like a little fractal design. Looks like this character is hooked up to some sort of machine. Yes, I have not seen Amphibia.
I've only got a few seconds left. Here's the cupcake. Yes. All right, and the cape. Forgive me for going over just a moment. I just want to make sure I get the majority of the details. Alright, so, Mal, if you're still around, this is the sketch, five minutes. I will have to finish it offline, or maybe at the end, uh, at the end of uh, the evening, I will choose a sketch or two to take to, to color, and maybe people will choose this one. Well, what'd you think? Darcy? I find it funny how Darcy eats cupcakes but can't become a diabetic. That is interesting. Donut Cakes has been binging Goof Troop over on Disney Plus, loving the animation and the voice acting going on. A pull to the Goof Troop, ba -do -ba -do -ba 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 -do -ba. Yeah. So let's see the next next one that we've got going on. Uh, let's do Clay Fantocchio. Fantocchio. Kiske Fantocchio. Oh, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Clay, Clay. Fantoccio. Well, this is strange. I thought I had only one submission per person selected. I'm going to have to look into this. All right, where are you? Where are you? Number 19. Fantoccio from Billy Bust Up is a puppet theater actor who lives in an abandoned town who loves to entertain and wants a best friend, which in the upcoming 3D platformer game Billy Bust Up, Billy the Goat stumble across and is hoping to make her his best friend. Oh, this is from a game. Game characters are usually super complicated. Let's see what I can do. Oh. Billy Bust Up. Hmm. I think we're going for a. Going for a villain theme tonight. Okay, so. So Fantocchio is, I'm a little confused, is this? So this is Fantocchio, or is this Billy Bust Up? A puppet theater actor. This is this is Fantocchio. Is this a villain? <laughs> I'm a little confused. Oh well, I'll just start drawing and hope it all makes sense.
I think Billy's the main character. He wears the green poncho as his default costume. And, oh, we have someone from Regent, Gracie Love. Hello. I'm here after you came as a guest speaker for my storyboarding class. Well, hi, Gracie. I am glad to have you here. How's your final project going? Interesting hat. Interesting poop hair. Oh, again, Joe, don't try to be on model. And yet. Ah! Oh, I didn't put the timer on. Everybody, help me. Help me put the timer on. I'm going to put it on three minutes. I've been working on this for a little bit. Kinda seems like a, I don't know, shades of Jiminy Cricket. like if Jiminy Cricket was Pinocchio and evil or just up to no good Angry says haven't worked enough on it yet but I have my entire concept planned out oh, I know the feeling it's like it's all done in my head I just need to get it out of my head. That's all. Just that final step of just getting it out on, on, onto some format that other people can see. No problem. All right. try and push this a little more get those get the hips forward a little bit see and the great thing about this poncho is that it hides all this mess underneath that I don't have to draw it's a little yeah, it's a little symmetrical So let me see if I can. Just 
break that up a bit. All right. Well, I think that's something I can work with. That's something I can clean up. It's definitely a sketch. Lots of interesting games coming out. So this is a platformer. Don't see many of those these days. And somebody said, Okay, so let's move along to the next one. Great job in the sketch phase. He's ready for the stage. Well, thank you. And Film Criticus said, Have I seen the Tiny Toons reboot? I've seen all that I can stomach. And let's check again. Cowboy. One response. Response number 50. Cherry and an OC. I've, I am so sorry. We are not doing OCs. It's, it's in the rules. I forgot to mention it again by name, but I'm working on getting up to my... Um... Um... I'm trying to do a, like, little compilation book of fan art just, just to put something together for all of the stuff that I've been doing. I'll, I'll do a super quick one, but, like, no, no more OCs until further notice, guys. I'll do this one because I, I didn't say anything. Yeah, I can't, I'm trying to fill up the book with uh, fan arts, uh, existing properties, because this is what um, the request stream is about, is about fan art. And it sort of got kind of OC heavy for a while, and I was worried I just wasn't going to have enough mileage. Um, so I have a moratorium on, on OCs. I'll do this one super fast. shorter skirt break up that ladder
okay. So there we go. And we've got a question. And Gracie asks, hey, if you're doing fan art, could you do while save from Deltarune? Oh, if the requests have closed, uh, I strongly urge everyone on Instagram to sub me on YouTube so that you have a chance of getting um, a request in. Because I have a form that we have to fill out and I've got a, a brief window for getting requests in because otherwise it just it's just too much for me to handle. All right, let's move on to the next one. And let's see, Mr. Top Hatter, and again, if you want to vote in the poll, if you didn't get a request in, you can still have your say in what I draw tonight. So look for that link link in the chat. And if you're on Instagram, please join me on YouTube so you, or Twitter or Facebook. But YouTube is probably the best experience uh, for possible interactivity. Okay. Oh my gosh! Catnip College? Thank you for this request! Oh, I love Catnip College. Catnip College. What's his name? Melvin Bright. I didn't know he had a name. Melvin Bright. All right, so let's see. I'm going to put five minutes on the clock for this. See if I can get a nice, decent sketch. Oh, just love drawing characters wearing derbies. Which implies that I should know how to draw one. I don't, but I'll fake it. Yeah, usually these kinds of requests make me happy. Classic, classic characters. Obscure classic characters are probably my favorite request to do. I want to have a whole line of t-shirts of cartoon characters that only 12 people living still remember. This guy's a good candidate. He's already getting a little too big for his britches. Or his britches are getting a little too big for me. No, a prop. Okay, let's see if I can just mark out the basic shape.
I appreciate how the animators made such a simplified version of a base. I think Catnip College should be a series. I mean, there's nothing particularly um, funny about this cartoon. I just love it. That's all. <laughs> It's cats, it's jazz. That's all I care about. Oh, and it feeds in to the um, theme of the evening where I've been gushing on and on about cats don't dance. Yes, cats and jazz, I'm there. That's all I want in this world is cats and jazz. Have I seen the Aristocats? Um, only a thousand times. It's not my favorite Disney film, but it's extremely cute. Very, very charming. Incredible animation. Just, like, 70s Disney is just ridiculous for the amount, like, the cost cutting that they had to do, but at the same time, the quality of their animation is so out of this world. It's just a strange juxtaposition. They call it cheap animation, but like cheap Disney animation, I'm like, oh god. <laughs> if only I should be so cheap. And in the 70s, there was like 12 guys and a goat working at Disney. They made incredibly memorable stuff. Okay, Catnip College bass player. Yeah. I'm gonna lower this. Well, you know, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna plunk this, plunk this string, slap that bass. Slap it till it's silly. Uh, it needs to be taller. Somehow I got the proportions all wrong when I was focusing on that base. Yeah, sorry, I'm going over my time limit here, but I've just got to get this... ready for prime time.
just ruining this one. You know what? He probably had a turtleneck. Because I'm losing sight of my basic shapes. I gotta get back. There we go. Okay. None of them have tails. This bothers me. I want him to have a tail. He's a cat. He needs a tail. With a bandage on it. Obviously. Okay. Alright. So, I have spent a little more time on this, this little guy than I should have. And Clay says, I remember Slap That Bass Song, sung by Fred Astaire, played in the Joker movie. They played, I never saw Joker, so they played Fred Astaire singing Slap That Bass. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, we've got a question that I will return to. Uh, oh, a couple of nice questions that I should return to once I have selected the next request. And we have ah, Mr. Mr. Top Hatter. That's what I was trying to get get to before. There we go. Number forty-four. Crazy cat. This is great. I am so, I'm so happy. A romantic cat who's in love with a mouse named Ignatz, who throws bricks at her head on a regular basis. I am happy, very happy to draw a crazy cat. Very happy, thank you for this delightful request. Now, I could take a few liberties here. Now, why? Why would Crazy be so in love with somebody so mean? Don't know. Going on with the classics. Okay, putting five minutes on the timer. Let's see what I can do without going over. Okay, on its own, I enjoyed Astaire's dance a bit like the rest of his dance scenes. Um, somebody said... Um, Jorge says, do you have any tips for a character design portfolio? Um, I'm of the opinion that you should demonstrate variety and personality as best you can. Every character should read as something recognizable. Like, you should be able to read something from every- Ah, uh, Beach Ball of Death. Ah, save! I do not want this to become oh boy save all right crazy cat's nose always kinds of Let me uh, lasso my thoughts back to the question. Yeah, try and show as much variety as you can. Demonstrate your ability to draw in lots of different styles. Um, and also 
don't focus on like, detail with characters. Um, focus on the character's personality, like the, the mood, the emotion, the, the life that you're trying to communicate. And again, with everything in a portfolio, make it entertaining. How am I going to treat this nose? Okay, I've taken a few liberties with Crazy Cat here. But if I was designing Crazy Cat now, it might be something like this. Yeah. And uh, also, like, if you're looking for to do something specific, um, like, it used to be that like you didn't want to put your portfolio like chock full of anime but if anime is what you want to do a a American anime gets produced so if that's what you want to focus on like in, in lieu of um, having variety if you're like I'm just anime 100% all the time then like be great be great at it And, uh, but only send your anime portfolio to studios who do anime. Like, if you send, um, an anime portfolio to Disney, like, they don't do much anime. So, you're probably not gonna get any traction like that. So, as best you can, shoot for what you want to do, and tailor what you show to the studio that you are applying to. And Matthew says, have I gotten your tip? I'm sure I did. I'm just going uh, from top to bottom. Last week I missed um, somebody's tipped request. That was a pretty sizable tip and I felt bad. So I'm making sure that I get the big tips uh, first. Because again, like I, I want to make sure that people have a chance to get a request without having to tip, but the tips really make me feel like what I'm doing is a value to you guys. They keep me really motivated, and not gonna lie, it's useful. Hey, Mental Duck just subscribed. That's a cool name. I like that. Um, so... I try to give opportunities for non-tipped requests as well, but um, the big tippers are just like, if I miss that request, I lose sleep about it. So that is Crazy Cat. And I am going to get the next one underway. And again, if you just came, and you missed the chance to put in a request, you can still vote in the poll. And guys, and this is a pretty intense amount of requests. It was over 50 requests tonight, so I apologize in advance. Again, reminding you of the rules where I Number one rule is I make no promises, no guarantees that you're going to get it in. Um, but, but ser like seriously, how could, how could I do 50 requests in one evening? Uh, it would be like a second job. So I am going back down the list. And... I think... I think Matthew, or Matthew Leblanc. Okay. 
le le bleu oh Lindsay Stern was here Lindsay are you still here hi Okay, I can't seem to find it, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try just going down the line. Oh, I already did this one. Melvin Bright. Okay. Going down the line again. Sorry guys, it takes so long. I don't have a producer. Atomic Betty Kung Fu Pose. That's weird. I don't see I don't see the tip here. So I'm just gonna maybe put that one to my side. I am kind of doing the honor system. It's hard for me to It's hard for me to verify everything, so I hope nobody's taking advantage of me. Okay, so we are doing number 10. Who's a character I don't remember seeing before? I never watched much of K&D. Oh, come on. Copy. Let's see, what is her personality? Smart, confident, valley, valley girlish, easily irritated. Okay, let's see what I can do. And Matthew says, also, how do you know you're being taken advantage of? If somebody says that they tipped, but I don't see a record of their tip anywhere. That's what I mean by that. So I'm just gonna keep going down the, the top tipper list. And Cuckoo Magic joined. I'm gonna wave at you because that's an awesome name. All right, Neptune Soldier says, Joanna, in my tip, I used my real name, but the tip says the Don Bluth character. Oh. Let me check that out. Under username, so the Don Bluth character. I see a Bugs Bunny. Uh. Okay, scissors from the Rock Paper Scissors show. I gotta see what that's about. Scissors from the Rock Paper Scissors show. I've never heard of that. 
<laughs> okay. I'll, I'll do that one. Rock, paper, scissors. I'm sorry, if it makes me laugh, then it's... I could probably do that one in two seconds. All right. Abel, mommy long legs as a pirate or a princess. Mommy long legs is a character from Poppy Playtime and is one of the monsters that the player defeats in chapter two. Oh, is this gonna gross me out? Let's see. Huh. Not what I was expecting, okay. Oh, it's literally scissors. Let's go. Number 10, five minutes on the clock. Here we go. It's funny to feel like themes are merging. I feel like I've drawn these same hands a few times. And I love characters with big giant clown shoe feet. sort of a trademark that their ears peek out on the other side. I'm gonna be a jerk and move her beauty mark. more sassy pose these bell sleeves I'm gonna shorten this skirt a bit I just think it's too long. Just gives too even a symmetry. Oh god, was it with cartoon characters and detailed shoes? So I just like the balloon shoes. detail on a shoe, the less I'm moving the character. Okay. And the real fire you're from hot said, hey, you drew Florian Yoop from iReady back then. I like the concepts. I remember that. Yeah, I designed Florian Yoop. That was a fun job. 
back when I was doing like pretty regular gigs at Primal Screen. I still have the hat. Okay, so she's a little overly sketchy. But that don't make no mind. I can change that. Knock it back, knock it back, way back. Keep it tidy. Well, candy characters have five fingers, don't they? I'm doing four fingers. Their fingers are too big and sausagey to have five. I'm sorry. Just too much. Simplify. All right, so we have number 10. All done. How, how I would have drawn her in the boards. And Doug wants a Minerva Mink. I have drawn Minerva Mink before. And if you like, go to my Instagram and search, like she'll pop up a few times. I do love Minerva Mink. She is a great character. Her cartoons are hysterically funny. All right, so we have uh, I've got rock paper scissors coming up. But I'm going to go down this list: Mao Doodles, Kyle the Clay, Matthew. I don't think did I get you, Matthew? Oh, Susanna with Palm Springs Bugs Bunny. I would love to do that one, but I've got to get through. Oh, I've got 13 more tips. That I don't have. I didn't get 13 tips. I think somebody's. I think somebody's yanking my chain. Yeah. I think some people are being dishonest when they're saying that. I don't know why I didn't expect that, but. Drake from the Pebble and the Penguin doing the geese pose from the game King Fighters 96. So that is the Don Bluth movie. trying to understand this request. It seems pretty complicated. Um, I might have to institute a new rule. If you can't follow the rules, then I can't 
do the request. It's a lot of... Okay, Drake doing this geese pose. So this is the... Po oh, okay. So this is a specific pose. Not found. Oh. Let me try it without the pose in there. Um, I'll see what I can do. So his name is Drake. Boy, Don Bluth loves teeth. I'm going to save that one for later because that might require a little bit of concentration. And the Beagle Boys. Three. <laughs> There's three characters in the Beagle Boys. Okay. There's, there's three Beagle Boys. <laughs> yeah, it's... It takes... it uh, Five minutes to draw three characters then. Okay. Let's see what else is there. Let's see what else we got going on. I, I, I don't know if... Sometimes I feel like I'm getting trolled. I'm sure I'm getting trolled. Okay, fix of the posing of this one Cocoa Puffs box with Sunny on it. Okay, maybe that's something simple I can do. Ah! God dang it. Who do they have drawing these? All right, so Cocoa Puffs. Don't don't do this anymore. This is weird. It kind of seems like like a mashup of a couple different poses. Like I feel like I've seen these feet. I feel like I've drawn these feet before. Okay, so you've got um I don't like Sunny's feathers going forward. I'm gonna do five minutes on the clock here. I don't like Sunny's feathers going forward like this unless there's some reason for it. His eyes are okay. I think his beak should be a little bit longer. I like more of a curve here. Gotta get his feathers going backwards. Oh, but they're on the top of his. No, they should be back here. Box art, you got me going nuts. Man, I would love to animate just one more sunny. I'm gonna push this pose a little bit more.
His tail's... What's his tail coming off the small of his back for? His feet are fine. I'll lower his tail just a skosh so it doesn't bump up against his hand. But yeah, there's should be a softness. So can somebody look up I don't have the time to do it, but I swear can somebody look up my old Cocoa Puffs commercials and be like are, did, are these mine? Because they feel really familiar. The hands and the feet, like, did they trace over some frames of the spots I did a million years ago instead of hiring like, an artist to actually draw a decent and cohesive box art? Move this down a little bit. Yeah, this head shape I'm not crazy about. Yeah, that's marginally better. this head was placed. you know it's it's not perfect but I think it's an improvement over this well let me just fix the face I gotta fix the eyes and then I'll move on Fluffcopter, Joe, even you from 14 years ago wouldn't make that box art. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Fluffcopter. Yeah, it's just disjointed.
All right. That's a bit better. Yep. Uh, maybe I'm just like, poisoned by looking at this box art. Is this better? I don't know. Well, let's move on. Let's just do uh, the silly rock, paper, scissors one. This looks like a regular show. Watch me completely flub this. Is this by the uh, regular show guy? three minutes on. Oh, okay, and for anyone who is on Instagram who is new to these streams, yes, these are all requests, but they were submitted via form at the beginning of this at the beginning of this session. So I can't take shout out requests because uh, it's too crazy to do that kind of stuff. I've still got like 13, 13 more to do. Okay, all right, rock, paper, scissors. I've got Drake, I've got the Beagle Boys. Let's look at Sunny one more time. What's wrong with you, Sunny? What don't I like about you? I think it's all the stuff that I traced from the original. I feel a sense of responsibility. Yeah, your body was too long. I feel a sense of responsibility to you, Sunny. Sunny boy. Let's see what other requests I have got. Uh huh. And again, if you didn't get to put in a request and you would like to participate, you can go to the poll. And also, your support means the world to me, helps me keep motivated, helps me keep going. And uh, these are really, the dark times are upon us. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. And so anything, any kind of support you can throw would be really appreciated, especially if you're enjoying the stream, if you're getting something out of it, it, it means the world to me if you show that appreciation through some support. So, uh, Doramon, a robot cat, another cat. We've got a cat theme. I asked for uh, cats don't dance, but I'll take cats. Oh. Okay, that's adorable. Doraemon. Dora. Doraemon. Doraemon. Thank you. 
door. Amon. Okay. I'm not sure what this is from. What is this from? It's real cute. I have never heard of this show. I guess it just flew right over my radar. Let's put five minutes on the clock. So it was a Disney show. It's a Japanese anime from the 70s and 80s. Oh, and so Disney. Disney, old Disney Channel aired it. Yeah, there's a lot of, yeah, there was a nice amount of Japanese imports in the 80s and 90s. I remember watching a lot of shows that in retrospect was like, wait a minute, I think that was anime. <laughs> Aww. Thank you, Chucky Chicken Cartoons, for the support. Oh, thank you. Hope you're doing well, too. Happy Easter. Dorimon is, is pronounced Drymund. Drymund. I'll take your word for it. Dor... It's not... Also very popular in Spain. Dor Doraimon. Doraemon. Is it Doraemon or I want to say Doraemon. Dora Doraimon. Doraimon? Okay, I'm using all of my time trying to figure out how to pronounce this show. I so appreciate the support. Thank you. So I th I'm thinking that I kept the request window open a little too long tonight because I want to get to some non-tip requests, but I don't know if I will. Does he have a little cape? Is this what this is? Is it a cape? And he doesn't have ears? Don't know if he ever wore a cape. Context on the ears. A mouse bit them off, apparently. Oh. Oh, how tragic. All right. Doraimon. 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 Okay. He lost his ears. It is his whole arc. Oh, okay. A lot of people giving me a lot of uh, different pronunciations. Doraemon, 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 Doraemon. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was a lovely one. A cute character I didn't know existed. 
Thank you, Manny's Mename, for that awesome request and for the tip. All right, only nine, nine more to go. Ugh. Let's see. This one might be tricky. <sighs> oh, okay. Okay. Okay, this is a tipped request for Hunter from Little Nightmares 2. I'm just gonna leave that one off to the side while I figure out what to do with it. And let's see what the next one is. Response number 11. <laughs> the Easter Rabbit from Looney Tunes. This one might be funny. Remember, keep smiling. This is one where it's, they said they tipped, but I don't see evidence, but it could be these things don't update. Let's see. Let's refresh and see if there's a tip attached to this one like they said. No. Okay. Well, who the heck knows? I need to find a better system. I need need to figure something else. Victor and Hugo from a request from Deirdre. Victor and Hugo. Interesting. Cosgrove Hall Films. Very interesting. I did ask for obscure. I got obscure. Let's see what else we got going on. Pandaverse. Pandaverse Kenny. This one might be fun. Yeah, I remember everyone was saying, Pandaverse Kenny is hot. I might do this one. Might do this one next. But I have a lot of trouble doing South Park characters. I just never know exactly what to do with them. And Z Zatara tap dancing. Like I've 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 done that like specific one before. I swear I have. Oh my god, Val Hallen from Justice Friends. Oh, that's a really good one. Ooh, tempting, tempting. Very tempting. I've got 36 total requests left. Um, 
Let me try and tend to the tipped ones. From Diego, the Roblox boy. Let's see. Diego, Diego, Diego. Diego. You do not seem to be represented on the tip list. Let me see. Maybe if I look here, there will be more. Do not see. And didn't provide a link. Okay. Please, please. I, I don't think my form is too complicated, guys. It's just... Yeah, somebody requested Yakko playing the electric guitar. Awesome. And Dot from Pokemon Horizons. Didn't I already? I feel like I've done that one already in a previous stream. But let me keep whittling down the tips. Please provide one link for a visual reference. Cute. I just... No, I need links. Because I spend too much time Googling. Uh, Haida from Agretsuko. Oh, cute. Agretsuko is super cute. Okay. But let me finish getting all this stuff. Hi! <gasps> Somebody said Max from Cats Don't Dance. Thank you, King of Tunes. Thank you. How does the kitty cat go? Meow. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get on this. Cause it's been a while since I've been drawing, so I'm just gonna do my best with Maxi here. It's already 11.30 and I'm starting to feel the pinch. And Matthew says, by the by, regarding those Pepper Ann requests, I actually got one for the 50th stream. You won't believe what outfit I have in mind for her. Also, not gonna lie, it'd be really funny if that was the most on-model Pepper Ann you drew. <laughs> okay. It would be funny. Like, maybe I should just release a Pepper Ann fan art book, because I feel like I've got enough. Oh, such a great design. If only I could do it justice. Oh, yeah, okay. And it says you can draw one of the Beagle Boys, not all three. All the good pictures had groups. Oh, thank you kindly. I will do what I can.
I'm just so glad I got a Cats Don't Dance request. I just love this movie so much. Wait a minute. That was, yeah. That's how that goes. think of anything funny for him to be carrying, so I'm just gonna do another cupcake. Okay, so there is Max. And let's do Panderverse Kenny. Put another five on the clock. And Barry's here! Barry! Good to see me alive once again. It is good to be live. I should probably just do the same pose so it's more recognizable.
Okay, Panda vs. Kenny. She probably does need four fingers. I mean, five fingers. Four fingers plus the thumb. Okay, and let me see what these last couple requests are. Maybe I'd like to get in. Oh, we've got Dot from Pokemon Horizons. Uh, winning by a fair margin. Okay. So if you would like to contribute something to me to draw tonight, I will do at least one thing from the poll. And uh, again, another thing about throwing some support. There you go. And everybody on Instagram, if you want to get a better request live experience, I do invite you to join me on YouTube. The evil YouTube. Let's see. Two more requests to slog through. Uh, there's Mommy Long Legs. Oh, I got that one already. Okay. Mommy Long Legs. From what? What is this game? Mommy long legs as a pirate or a princess? From Poppy Playtime. Okay, as a pirate or a princess? A princess pirate. And Atomic Betty in a Kung Fu pose as, I'll put that in the, ah, you gotta, you gotta send a link. Okay, let's see if I can about this character in this pose. Let's see. Can I do it? Okay, so he's kind of got I don't know, an eggy He looks super evil. Five minutes on the clock. Or a princess pirate. And Matthew says, any thoughts on the Lush Shrek collab with the Shrek bath bombs? I'm like, I have no idea what that is. Is it anything like the Disney princess makeup line? It's kind of weird. He's got a tiny head. What does this beak look like? I guess I'm not so great with Don Bluth characters.
This is, yeah, this is probably, why is he wearing a cape? Oh, he's got... Oh! He's got... Things that come out here. It's hard to see. Because I knocked it back. Well, that's about as good as I can do for the moment. And we'll fall. Dirt dash. <sighs> I accidentally drew on another pose. Okay. And now let's do some Beagle Boys. the same character. Oh, I've got some questions on um yeah, I've just got requests going on on Instagram. You know that Maybe I'll do some Instagram only request se sessions just to As you can tell, it's getting a little late for me. Feeling the pressure, feeling the pinch. 
That's why I am not as chatty as I once was. ear seems a little weird. I've got a lot of people who are requesting to be in the video, which is always strange to me. I'm curious. Also a little frightened. Alright, and the rest of the request for tonight, Hudson and James Matter, don't know that one, Heathcliff and Louie from a nut old cartoon, cute, Mr. Zip, Pig Baby, Palm Springs Bugs Bunny, Johnny Test Nosedive, Looney Tunes, cartoon version of Petunia Pig. Oh, I just randomly drew Petunia the other day. Uh, Dot from Pokemon Horizons. Serena from Pokemon XY. The Baltimore Oreo Orioles Cuckoo Bird. Miss Zilla from Hasbin Hotel. Hello Kitty. Kiff and Barry from Kiff. Valhallen. Oh, I really want to draw Valhallen. And... Human Kimberly Booger, Barbara Gordon, uh, Furball and Calamity, um, Goslin, Yakko, another Mizilla, Dr. Robotnik. Ooh, how do I choose? I really like the request for Valhalla. I might sneak that one in. It's just such... It's just such a good idea. <laughs> just like, I'm angry I didn't think of it because it's so funny. Oh, you don't need to be on model. You tell yourself this all the time. You don't need to be on model. Why are you struggling? You shouldn't be struggling. Don't be on model. But I must. You don't have. You don't gotta. 
I'm seeing a client. But I must. Don't be on model. Do something different. Break it. Oh. Let's look at these shapes. These weird ears that the Beagle Boys have. Okay, so I've got, I've successfully gotten this beagle boy off model. It's definitely no one could ever, buddy, no one could ever accuse me of being on model here. But once he had color, he'll be recognizable. Okay, so this is Mommy Longlegs as, as a princess. Five minutes back on the clock. Lots of creepy games out there. Green Goblin moment. <laughs> you, you don't constantly argue with yourself all the time, my precious. It's totally normal. That's what they told me at the institution. I love the on Animaniacs, the Warner 65th anniversary special, the part with the uh, canon story of how the Warners were created. Their animator, animation daddy, Lon Borax, sort of a parody of Tex Avery. Um, after he created the Warners, he went insane and. Uh, Oh, how does it go? Later I learned. I, I tried to find Lon, but, uh, we memos. I tried to find him, but couldn't find him anywhere. Later I learned he went all funny in the head, and it cuts to Lon Borax in the home for mentally deranged animators. And he says, we're having soup today! One of Paul Rugg's less remembered roles, but I love I love Lon Borax. I wish he came back. How do we have all these lovely noodly legs? I don't know how to dress her. Because you gotta have... You know, 
know, maybe I'm just not going to have these noodly legs. Maybe she's just going to have a princess bottom. Something like this. This character as a princess. I wish there was an institution for retired funny in the head animators. I bet that would play, that that place would be fun. But that was actually, you know, based on a real idea. Not an idea, a thing. Um, the old actor's home. Where there's just a, a charitable organization that took care of old elderly actors. Like, it was that's something Hollywood used to do. They took care of their people. It was like a retirement home just for um, retired film industry people. This is like back in the 50s and 60s. Because there's just this whole generation of people who built the industry, but the industry like left them behind. And uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of sad stories, but at least a lot of them were taken care of. It'd be un unheard of today. Okay, mommy long legs. Good heavens, I skipped a lot. I thought I was doing okay. Uh, I think Doraemon was the last one that I did. Let's work on these guys now, the ones that I skipped over. Let's see if I can stick to my five minute limit. Okay, this guy, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna see if I can design you quickly. I'm gonna give you an Elmer Fudd hunting hat. The music, she has stopped. I think perhaps I've been drawing for too long. Let's see, what music shall we go for next? So we did French. Perhaps we should do... Let's see what kind of sambas they got. Jazz, I think jazz. Well, samba jazz. It overlaps. <laughs> Barry says, I remember when beloved Looney Tunes character Buddy was made the villain in the Warner 65th anniversary. Wasn't that brilliant? Wasn't that absolute brilliance? I'm now a nut farmer in Ohio. I'm very happy. 
<laughs> Is it Jeff Bennett who did his voice? I don't know. There was something like very funny but also kind of sad about um, the story of Buddy in the Warner's 65th anniversary special. Like, I, I feel like the Warners were legitimately happy to see him. Go on, buddy. Say a few words. And I said, well, I can't tell you how very happy I am to be here. Oh, why am I drawing a gun? Why am I drawing this prop? Oh, heaven help me. I don't know. I don't know how. Even when I'm looking at a picture of one. I don't know how to do it. I'm just hoping that this is sort of okay. Somehow I don't think that's where you should hold a gun. Maybe higher? Not over the trigger. Okay, so that's the hunter. Odd request, I must say. I'm gonna save the Easter Bunny. I'm gonna do Victor and Hugo. Stop it! Okay, I'll put you up here. Oh, and I did. Why did I say Mac? That's Max. Victor and Hugo. Oh, I wish I could remember. What was this? Victor and Hugo, some house thing. Okay. 1157. Turn it into a fishing rod. Oh, that's even harder. <laughs> Both voice actors of Jiminy Cricket lived in that retirement home. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's the original voice of Jimmy Cricket? I was thinking about him earlier. Mm -hmm. Ike. Cliff. Cliff. Cliff Edwards. Cliff Edwards. I know, his story is very sad. Just, he was so popular... Then it just, you know, I guess the money just stopped. But it seems like Disney did everything he could to help out. Why am I think? Why am I calling him Ike? Was it Ukulele Ike? Was that like a character of his? It was Cliff Edwards. Um, and Fisudo said, where'd you get that red sofa? It's been months, man. Like last year? Yeah. Uh, speaking of Looney Tunes, do you know Molly from Tasmania? Yeah, she was a great, she was a great, great, great character. Oh, Tasmania was great. That was a really good show. That should not have worked, but it did. And the... Um, the characters that they came up with uh, were just, they were all really good. It's a show that really 
could stand on its own two legs. God, I loved how um, uh, Taz's father was Bing Crosby. <laughs> and then, ah, oh my gosh, I've been sitting too, oh, too long in that one position. Oh, pardon me. <sighs> okay. Perhaps the tea will reinvigorate me, my tea that is very cold by now. Oh. <gasps> fun fact, the Victor and Hugo show is a spin-off of Danger Mouse. That is a fun fact. And Matthew says, Cliff Edwards, Disney paid his medical bills in secret. Oh, man. He had gambling problems and often hang around Disney where they gave him work, like records and such, to help him out. When he died, they bought his body from a university and had it buried. They bought his body from a university? Wow. Well, he was such an iconic um, personality. I'm glad that they felt a sense of obligation to him. Not obligation, like they're not obliged to do these things, but they're... You know, they wanted to do right by him, I mean. Oh, I should have had these guys posing with the Beagle Brothers. Uh, that's what I should should have done. Combine the requests, make a mashup. Can make his mustache tiny. It's like a little French Elmer Fudd. Absolutely wacky. Is he wearing the French flag?
I'm not sure what that that is. That is not a thing. <laughs> that is not a hand for sure. Okay, well, I forgot to set a timer for this one again, but it is long about midnight. But there's still, which one do I want to do? Yeah, Valhallen. Oh, I want, ah, but I didn't do the Easter Bunny yet. Oof, oof, Valhallen. Just gonna put you down here right now so I don't forget the happy Easter rabbit hooray all right so just one more reminder if you want to contribute some uh, one last chance to get your voice heard the poll is open and we have by a large margin dot from Pokemon Horizons taking the lead uh, baby blue. oh we're talking about baby blues baby blues is one of the most underrated cartoons I ever watched love that show it had pretty decent animation Kind of jealous that Detention got a DVD release via Warner Archive while the similarly obscure Warner Brothers cartoon Baby Blues didn't. And Matthew said, my only problem with Tasmania was Marvin the Martian. I don't remember Marvin the Martian being on Tasmania. Whoa. Hmm. Oh, and Ducky Boo's talking about Victor and Hugo. The show is act technically a spin-off of Count Duckula, making a spin-off of a spin-off. Wow. Yeah, I remember detention. And you guys heard about Akira Toriyama's passing. Let's get this Easter Bunny. Smile. Eh. 
think this is one of Mel Blanc's funniest voices. Oh, I forgot to turn the timer on again. <laughs> it's late. Uh, honestly, I don't see... Barry says, honestly, don't see the comic strip getting much love either compared to Peanuts, Garfield, and Calvin and Hobbes. I don't think Baby Blues was ever on the level of those. Of those. Um, certainly not as prolific as Garfield... Not as iconic as Peanuts, nor as insightful as Calvin and Hobbes, but it was a very enjoyable strip. I always liked Baby Blues, and I did like the show. Although it was like strangely, it was on Warner Brothers um, primetime, the WB, the WWWB, and it had, um, it, it's not like it was an adult cartoon, but it had more adult themes to it, which might have been surprising to its comic strip audience i don't know i think it was a decent show i think it was really decent i, I watched it and enjoyed it and um, favorite davis show short is do re meow essentially a rennes to be episode decades before the show came out and his basket of technicolor hand group yep my favorite show based on the comic strip was for better or for worse was that a show or was it just a series of specials there i've seen them before but it's so dim in my memory um you met the author numerous times since she lived 30 minutes from where I live. Oh, yeah, what's her name? Um, Elizabeth? What? What's her name again? I just have a compilation of For Better, For Worse. It's just, it's really nice. I like it. And the Richard William Ziggy Christmas special. I've never seen that. Yeah. Matthew says there was a series in 2000. No kidding. Huh. I'm learning a lot this evening. Okay, Val Hallen.
such a good design. I'm cracking up just thinking, just looking at this character. Brilliant idea. Like all the V's worked into the design. I never noticed this before. to put more time on the clock. I should be more guarded with time, but I am instead being a little loosey-goosey. Flying V guitar. Just all these V's. I never noticed this before. Okay, time to knock it back. I've got a good drawing in here somewhere. I just need to find it. Paul Rudish was the lead designer behind the Justice Friends. No kidding. Interesting. I like that bit of trivia. Thank you, Barry. And Trevor says, get ready for those Warner Archive DVDR releases of the complete Dexter and Powerpuff later this year. Nice.
Okay, well, like I said, there's there's a drawing in there somewhere. Somewhere in there. So, now we come to the portion of our program where we go over all of the things we've done today. So we have Valhallen, the Easter Bunny, Max, Victor and Hugo, a uh, hunter guy, Mommy Long Legs as a Princess, the Beagle Boys, boy, a single Beagle Boy, a big, it's a, him, um, this guy, Drake, and Pandaverse Kenny, Doraemon, Doraemon, scissors, from Rock, Paper, Scissors, Sunny the Cuckoo Bird, number 10, Crazy Cat, Melvin Bright from Catnip College, uh, an OC called Cherry, Billy Bustup, uh, sorry, his name is F... Fan something. Uh, Darcy and Amphibia. And from Amphibia. All right, how many did I have I done tonight? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Well, this is a record. I have not done this many in one night before. I'm going to finish a couple. Which one should I do? Oh, crap! Ugh. I still have to do the poll. Okay, sorry. Um. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. Who won the poll? The poll! And that is Dot from Pokemon Horizons. So I will do a quick Dot from Pokemon Horizons. And she's wearing Snorlax slippers. <laughs> Cute. Dot from Pokemon, Pokemon Horizons. So, as I am finishing out this request, this very last one, I would very much enjoy if you would tell me which one. Richie says, wait, did Darcy steal that cupcake from Max? <laughs> Miss Dimper will not be pleased. Everybody, just tell me which which uh, which character you think would be best to do to finish out to take to final. I have some for the Easter Bunny. Easter Bunny just saw the evil Concarne was on the poll. Obviously, voted for that in a heartbeat. I love that she just looks like several Pokemon. <laughs> so we've got Darcy, we've got Easter Bunny. That looks like she just she looks sleepy. Okay, Instagram, what say you? Reiteration, Sunny the Cuckoo Bird. The 
these floppy things on her head. So we've got Easter Bunny, we've got some for Max, Darcy. Matthew says, thanks again for Beagle Boy and Max. Have a good night. Thank you, Matthew LeBlanc. I appreciate you being here. And Manny says, her hair looks like a cherim. Her jacket resembles Glamiel, and she wears Snorlax slippers. Need some nice Darcy votes. We have a Toxic Galaxy subscribe. Thank you. I appreciate the sub. I guess it's important for her hair thingies to cross, since this is Pokemon accurate. Oh, okay, so there we go. There is Dot from Pokemon Horizons, so we have got an even 20 tonight, guys. That's a record. Ah. Darcy from Amphibia. Darcy Squad. five minutes. Yeah, Art Davis is an often forgot, forgotten about Looney Tunes director. I, I certainly forget about him a fair amount. Remember his smile. Oh, do we have a sub? Newt Newt, just sub. Thank you so much. I'm gonna move here. <sighs> Let's just see if I can
get a little bit of volume in here. I'm not, I'm not good with volume or silhouette. And the most important part of this Easter rabbit are those droopy eyes. Getting there, getting closer.
I somehow my cleanup made it a bit messy. <laughs> Okay, that's as cleaned up as I think I have time for. <sighs> let's let's try this technique. know if this will end up saving time but we'll see just just for a laugh let's see Turns out okay. Doesn't need to be perfect.
Save the Sudo says. Looks like the Nesquik bunny put on weight and took up cigarettes. Josh is here. Josh, Ma again, hi. Oh, thank you, Fluffcopter. You're a champ, Fluffcopter. You're a champ. Bossa Nova? Edward asks. Um, I search for Samba. You know, I think I've played the same jazz things for like the past five streams. I'm just looking for some stuff that's different. And it has to be all royalty free. Oh, you get this. So I have a subscription to this royalty free music uh, site, which is the music I play so I don't get blarfed on by the algorithm. Um, and it still flagged my my freaking stream. I'm like, what do I gotta do? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how to pr prove I have a subscription. Just, I'm logged in. But it got resolved pretty quickly. It was still annoying. Like, how, how can you get flagged for music that's literally the only reason it exists is to be royalty free. Don't get it. Don't understand. The world is crazy. Cats and dogs living together. Looks like we've got someone join the chat. I'm not sure if I've seen you before. Vita Star. Welcome. Things are kind of winding down. I'm coloring a few of the uh, things that I've worked on today. Oh my gosh, it's almost one o'clock. <sighs> but this has been a bit of a marathon stream. I've been trying to shorten the streams. I think I left the request window open a bit too long today and more than I could handle poured in. Whoops. Oh my gosh. I've been on so long, my phone needs to be charged. My phone has a great charge. Yes, let's tr trust, tr trust my computer, please. You've met before. We got ourselves a pipe egg. We got ourselves a blue egg. We got ourselves a red egg. Mm. 
in yellow. Let's do a little something to make the eyes pop a bit more. I'm gonna color the bags under his eyes a little bit darker. I think that is, that is necessary. Okay. Remember to smile. Man, of course. Of course. I did this on the same layer. Anything else popping out as thank you for the request of the obscure classic cartoon characters. I feel like this is getting too tangenty. Okay, I think he looks sufficiently scruffy. All right, there's the Easter Bunny. Um, now everybody has said there's a lot of votes for uh, Darcy. Let's see, let's bring you up here. Want to do Valhallen? 
Guys, is it okay if I do Valhalla? And Mao says, question, do I post these on Twitter or other socials at the end? Yes, I post them on all the socials. There's not a social. Oh, uh, and speaking of what I was referring to with uh, music, Fluffcopter says, it's a mess. In theory, anyone can just claim music regardless if it's actually yours. You can resolve it, but it's such a nonsense process. It is. Yeah, I'm... I wish there was another place to go besides YouTube. Uh, Takeon Dopamina says, I love your animations. Hi, from Argentina. Well, well, hello to Argentina. I would love to visit Argentina. How is everything in Argentina? And Takeon says... I love Monkey Rag. Well, thank you. Everyone seems to say Darcy. Darcy, Darcy, Valhalla is good. You earned it. Ugh. I don't like to disappoint. I really want to do Valhalla. I'm sorry. Darcy will be the, the next one that I do. But I think that the icon for tonight will be Valhalla. Let me knock this back a bit. Get a better... Yeah, charcoal champ, why not? My good old generational discourse. What, Valhallen versus Darcy? This is a samba. Okay, let's. What am I gonna do? I'm just, just straight up jazz. Let's just see what jazz is. Okay. I'm just gonna play jazz. Charcoal Champ. I'm going to do this a different way. I'm going to focus on the outline. a little bit here. Thank you. 
know what? I'm just gonna... Do the whole guitar. I don't like this kind of jazz. Mm. Better. Going to keep this on another layer. Because I think see how this looks. That's cool, I like that one.
nope, nope, nope. Well, I can already tell this is not my jazz. Nope. Maybe. And Vita says, Do you have tips for drawing line art on one layer? Because I tend to use a lot of layers when I do line art. Uh, I mean, if that works for you, I don't see what's wrong with that. Are you having specific issues? Do you want to draw everything on one layer? Yeah, for so my layers won't look like a mess. Well, why do you use so many layers? Mostly so I won't mess up previous lines that I did perfectly. Oh, 
Well, I would just say don't. I mean, the nice thing about drawing on paper is that you get a little bit more confident in your skills because um, you don't have any undo button. Maybe that's what you should do, just start drawing on paper more. And until you start feeling confident enough to take those skills digital. Just like have a sketchbook and just draw shapes. Fill up a page of circles, fill up a page of squares, triangles, etc. There's a lot about drawing on paper that just as great as inconvenient as digital art is, there's not really any comparison. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out the best place to draw through this line. Yep. Here we go. I'm going to keep this there and just delete all this stuff. That's my cheat for the day.
gush. Even with my phone plugged in, I am losing power. Because this has been going on so, so long. Don't worry, phone. I'm almost done. Hang in there. looks cool like that. I'm gonna lighten up this for better contrast. That's not what I want. Here's what I want. Oh. It's not part of the look, but I, I can't resist adding some highlight to those flowing locks. Ooh, 
colors to be even brighter. Jazz, just Christmas music. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Happy birthday! What video cat jazz sounds promising. Okay, music is giving up. Music is completely giving up. Oh my god, it's 1.30. No. No, 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 no. Oh, Joe, just pick something.
Oh, who cares? Who cares? Joe, just stop. Stop. <sighs> Don't do any more. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm doing it. Okay. Let's see. I'm just gonna. And then I'm going to, here we go. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, Val is standing in front or behind, in front of or behind Krunk. Okay. Uh, background is simple yet unique, love it. Thank you. Fluffcopter says, I know I could at any point ask, you sure about that blending option and ruin your sanity, but I'm not sure if I can handle that kind of power. <laughs> I, uh... <sighs> I'm not sure of anything in this world. Except that I appreciate all of you for coming out tonight and spending this time with me while I slowly go insane but uh, hopefully in a fun way we did a lot good game you guys good game we definitely did a lot tonight this has been um, the most I've ever done in one evening and I just thank you all for sticking it out with me and hanging out for this whole time it's pretty awesome of you you guys are pretty awesome so if you would like to, you know, continue your support of the things, here's a place for the t-shirts, Instagram, you can't see, but it's Instagram, can you just all of you go to YouTube and subscribe? It's, it's, it's like if I'm trying, if it's like I'm at a party and I'm trying to talk to two people at once and one person's on this side of the room and the other person's on this side of the room, like, just could just could just, 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 just just come together. Just be become one group so that I can not repeat myself. And uh, live video ended. It's like Instagram just gave up on me. Okay. All right. Um, share. Okay. I'm just gonna do this before Instagram does even more things. Request stream, what number is this? Number number 46, we're getting close to 50. And let's see. I think this might be I don't think it's going to let me share everything. Okay, share. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> but again, my gosh, I can't even string a few single ones together. I'm so tired. But look for all of these drawings to be posted, peppered throughout the days in the coming days. Am I even speaking English anymore? I don't know. Oh my golly. Okay. I was just gonna say mwah, mwah, mwah. good night everybody. You're all the best. Catch you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a really fun time. 
Don't forget to check out my videos and subscribe and follow me on all those other platforms so that you stay up to date as to my streaming schedule. I hope to see you on the next one. See you later.